Hi, why do we need proteins in our body? And are proteins considered as qualitative or quantitative needs for our organism? Hello, I am Mrs. Saha, and if you may get easily higher marks in biology, so you are in the right place. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let's begin. So, with today, we're going to talk about qualitative needs, requirement, and proteins. So, our objective in this lesson is we're going to indicate the basic units of proteins. We will differentiate between what we call essential and non-essential amino acids, and we will describe the metabolism of proteins. First of all, we're going to talk about this protein, which is a complex molecule, and it's made, it's made sorry, of a sequence of many and maybe lots, lots of these small structures, this basic structure called amino acids. So, a group of amino acids bound together with a bond this sequence, this order in amino acid form, what we call a protein, okay? And since we only have 20 types of amino acids, but we have a lot, lot of proteins in our body, so how 20 amino acids only can make this huge amount of proteins? Because these proteins differ, each protein differ from the other protein by the total number of amino acids. So if a protein is made up of 20 amino acids, it's completely different from another protein made up of 19 amino acids. If one amino acid is different between the two proteins, so the, both proteins will be different, finally, the order or the sequence of amino acid. So, for example, if you have two proteins having the same number of amino acids and the same type of amino acid, and only the order of these amino acids is different, you have completely two different proteins. Okay? Now, let's say what's the difference between essential and non-essential amino acids. The essential amino acids are the amino acids provided only and only by food. They are called essential because you cannot make them in your body if you don't take them from food. So you have to, to take them from food. However, the non-essential amino acids, it's okay if you don't take them from food because our body can synthesize, can make them. So essential are called essential because I have to take them from food. However, non-essential, they can be made by our body. Now, what are the daily needs in proteins? Normally, we need one gram per kilogram a day. For example, if my weight is 70 kilograms, so I need 70 grams of protein. And this daily needs is different with age. So, for example, let's say a baby needs protein in different amount than an adult, for example. The sex or the gender, gender sorry, normally men needs more protein than women. The physiological state, and this means that whether the female is lactating, is nursing, or is pregnant, she needs more proteins than a normal uh, female that is not pregnant or uh, is not nursing. Okay? Hello. If you have a deficiency in the intake of protein, so you are taking less proteins than the normal, than your body needs, you will have destruction of structural protein. What this means, for example, I need protein for the formation of my muscles. So if I don't take proteins from food, this means that I won't be able to make more muscles and I'm going to lose my own muscle. Okay? However, if you take more proteins than normal, all the excess of protein will be converted into lipids and this will tire your 
liver and your kidney because the elimination of the of the uh, amino acid of the protein let's say now uh, take place at the level of kidneys and liver okay now the metabolism of proteins when you eat proteins for example let's say chicken meat uh, uh, leguminous plant uh, fish these food proteins will be digested in your digestive system and you're gonna obtain these basic units called amino acid and now these amino acids will be synthesized will be uh, assembled in order to make new proteins these proteins are two types either structural or functional structural proteins mean that they enter in the structure of your cells for example in order to make the cell of a cell membrane we do need protein so if you don't eat proteins you will not be able to make the cell membrane of a cell and therefore you will not be able to make more cells and also we need protein in order or amino acid in order to make functional proteins functional proteins mean that the proteins that have a certain function in your body such as hormones, enzymes. So suppose you don't eat enough protein, you will not be able to make these hormones and enzymes. So finally, you have, what is the summary of this lesson? You have to know how proteins differ from each other by the type, the number, and the sequence or order of amino acids. And why do we need proteins? In order to make the structural proteins and the functional proteins. What are the daily needs in protein? We need one gram for each one kilogram of weight. And don't forget that the daily needs is different from organism to another. It is different among ages, among gender, and uh, according to the physiological state of the organs. Okay, let me know in the comments if you have any question and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.